Goldilocks zone where they can sustain life, right? The question's always been, so where are they? That's the Hermes paradox. If 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 the probability of life existing in a infinite universe is well, 100%. There is other life out there. There has to be if it's infinite. There's no getting around that. <laughs> yeah, that's two. <laughs> what was that? That's a first world problem right there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to update my Google Maps. can't zoom out far enough. Uh, but anyway, to continue, this is why I love having these conversations with you, Royce. I fell off the back. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, the question's always been, where are they, right? So there's this idea that every intelligent species reach is a point in its intelligence where it can either on purpose or by accident kill itself. It can make itself extinct. Now that we're finding these giant male, I can't say the word, megalithic sites, these old civilization sites that way predate our earliest predictions of having civilization on Earth by tens of thousands of years suggests that there was a race of human of people on earth that something happened you killed me thank you like that something happened like that where they accidentally or through nature killed themselves and yeah that's exciting too yeah and either way, that something something happened that threw society and evolution of intelligence way back, backed it up a lot, and we had to come forward again. And that could happen again to us. It's the uh, the idea that that's why we don't see intelligent life elsewhere is because of yeah, I killed you. I think it's because I hit you while you landed. Your bike's about to blow up, by the way. There's somebody in the helicopter near us. Oh. Two are... Well, behind you for me. Down the road. Flying away. There's also a guy at the pan spray. Let's go there. Navigate. My TC. That means. Oh, there's somebody coming right at us. There he is. Oh, he's in armor. Yeah, go. Is the Karuma chasing us? No. I think he ignored us because they didn't shoot him. Marked the motorcycle. There's also a player over there. And the Karuma headed kind of in that direction too. So it might be interesting. I'm going on foot from here. No, I'm joking. Oh, as we both pull out rocket launchers. Alright, you go first and tell me if you die. If you die, I'll snipe everybody out from there. If you don't, I'll walk in and start machine gunning everybody. All clear? I'm coming in on. Should I start killing them? The Kuruma followed you into the shop. Why? Oh, I got an idea. Oh, I only have sticky bombs. Damn it. Fuck, Royce. How many sticky bombs does it take to blow up a uh, Kuruma? 
Quick, pull, pull yours out, pull yours out. You ready? Oh, I'm gonna get out. Yes! We got it! Go! I blew up mine first. I clicked mine at the same time. It might have been my explosive. <laughs> we just start chucking explosives at me and tried to drive away. I love it. <laughs> I just want I just waited and did I just waited to debt mine so that it was in a chain with all the others that you threw. But it worked. No, I threw like four on the back of his car. All of mine stuck. Holy shit, dude. I can't believe we blew up that Karma that easy, though. Usually those are bitches to deal with. You trying to fight me? Alright. I'll find somebody. I'm probably gonna get, uh, you know this means I have to get, like, Armstrong into a chat after this and... Deal with his shit shoveling. I'll have to have a conversation like I had with you. With, uh... <laughs> with, uh... One Robert Royce. Maybe Kinnerconnect. That would be a fun one. He's a special cookie. So yeah, the NSA stopped listening into our conversation. Mm-hmm. Throw him out. Throw him out. Not you. Don't lock onto you. Apparently, well, he's nice enough to not pull you out of the car. No, me. I, tr I when I press what? Oh! <laughs> that looks. Oh, that guy that we killed there. I slid across the ground, dude. I am quite drunk. I am liking this. It's only 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Do it now. A confirmed Catholic that no longer agrees with his religion. It's an awkward situation. You're Lutheran now. I don't believe in religion at all, so that's my thing. Well, I'm not. I know I'm not atheist either. Is the thing. I'm not. I, I would. Say, I'm just trying to explain me. I'm not atheist. I'm more. Just don't care if there's a god or not. So agnostic. Yeah, that's what I am. Which is. Yeah. Uh, I would say I'm agnostic. I don't find. If anything, I would accept Rastafarian as a religion one day. It is. It is. Rastafarians is a religion. And that religion does involve smoking. No, the, the religion itself does involve smoking weed. But it's not the main basis of the religion. But it itself, being, a, being a, a true Rastafarian is its own religion. And yes, that does involve smoking weed, so you could use that as an argument for religious freedom and not being able to be prosecuted for using marijuana if you say you're Rastafarian. What? <laughs> oh. Who is this other person? You keep showing up. I need to know who you are. 
You must tell me. Be real and not some quiet person. Surprisingly. Yeah. Why do you say duped? Is it? Oh, let me let me take care of this. I don't like his look. I may need somebody else to go through all this video footage and clip together some reasonable series of conversations from all this. Maybe that's what I should do. Oh no, they're all going on YouTube. They're all going on YouTube. I'm telling you that right now. It doesn't, but I can uh, I can send you a link to my uh, channel once I post them. Actually, if you just looked up the channel Polar Switch Studios, you would be able to sub my channel. I'm I'm, throw, I'm throwing everything towards this handle. I like this handle. Uh, sitting inside the metal box with woods for hours on end, and we have wound up getting so bored that we built a list of possible handles for when we got back to the states. Yeah, yeah, it's over deployment. Oh. The hours and hours and hours spent in the metal box during deployment. <laughs> I'm so I was so je I'm not gonna lie to you. I was every some people like I don't even remember who, so I don't even ask. I was like trying to shit talk it, and I was like, dude, at least he isn't here. I feel I'm jealous. I am je I was jealous as fuck the entire. Time. Like, uh, saying, uh, saying you couldn't handle it and that's why you're gone, I'm like, hey, he got out of here. I'm ha I'm happy for him. I wish I was out of here. I, I don't know. Yeah. Apparently, you gotta, you, you gotta remember, our unit, that's enough to say you can't handle it. That's enough of a reason to be like, this person's shitty, and that was horrible. I know, you guys did more down there. I just say, well, I, you, as you found out, I got two fucking Article 15s before I got out of the army. <laughs> Uh, they put me on extra duty, uh, they put me on extra duty and res no restriction, just extra duty, until I went on ETS leave. So, it was like, I wound up serving a total of 13 days of extra duty for two Article 15s. And even then, I got off at 9. So, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, we both have. Yeah. But you had to serve. Where's your. Where, 